Hi everyone, this is Derek the Nitwit. Um, I have just did a quick update and um, I finished Chuck's hat. There is Niles is testing it. This was a knit one like the one I did for David. Um, so I want to get I'm going out to dinner with David and Chuck tonight, so I'll give him his hat then. And as far as the dentist, the tooth is not going to be salvageable. So the quote I got from that dentist for all the dental work that I need done, which includes several crowns, a bridge, some fillings, a cleaning, quite possibly a root canal or two in there, um, it was like five grand. I can't afford that. I talked to my sister's dentist in Cozumel, and she gave me a quote just for the bridge of like $1,200, which I could afford, but that would wipe out my savings. I mean, I don't have an awful lot. I don't work. I'm on disability. So, you know, finances are tight. So, I've put in a request for the um, OU School of Dentistry out here for patients to see what they are. I've looked at other, you know, um, sliding scale clinics or, you know, low income, you know, low, cheap or free dental clinics. Most of them just do extractions and simple fillings. And since it is, you know, that tooth, I'm not going around with a hole in my mouth. You know, I... You know, I understand that, you know, you, sometimes you, you can't avoid, avoid that, but it's possible I, you know, want to at least look like I have teeth. So, I did, um, I was getting frustrated because a lot of places, the, you can get full set of dentures for cheaper than the quotes I'm getting for a bridge for one tooth. Um, I did talk to this place, Affordable Dentures and something, Implants place. Anyway, for them, if I did just a partial for that one tooth and the extraction we're looking at ballpark $450 I mean that's like a third of the cheapest cost I got and then you know I would still have money to be able to go and get the other teeth fixed before I end up breaking them and having to get them uh, replaced so you know I mean it, it's frustrating it sucks but you know it's life you know I do what I have to do so but anyway um for the people that were, were curious about the, the walk I did to Florida, I don't consider myself a Christian anymore. I just, I have a lot of questions that can't be, you know, they answered a lot of frustrations and whatnot, but I used to be a Christian. I was actually kind of quasi-missionary. I carried a 12-foot wooden cross that I built, or me and a friend built, from Norman, Oklahoma to Panama City Beach, Florida. And my goal, the whole point of that was just to meet people where they are. That way, you know, people would come up to me and, you know, I wouldn't be approaching. Because, you know, if the one thing I always say, you know, people that would approach me to talk to me about their, you know, about stuff. I always felt, you know, like, I'm not in control if you approach me. But if, you know, so if these people, if they approached me, it was on their terms. So they felt a lot more comfortable. And I reached a lot of people. I mean, I... I am so glad that I did that walk. You know, even though I, I don't go to church anymore, I'm not sure what I believe. I just don't deal with that whole aspect right now. But I mean, there were people that I met that were hurting that had been chased away by bad churches. You know, I mean, there are bad churches in places. You know, not everyone is great. But I was able to reach these people and get them connected with um, churches that were good, that would love them, that would take care of them. I saw so many people, you know, their lives changed. So, you know, I'm glad that I did that. The, uh, one of the things that, that really sucked was that was the last, I was gone on that walk for the, pretty much the last year of my mom's life. She had a lot of health issues. Um, she'd had, you know, ended up with a fistula that she could eat something and before, or drink like some water, even before she set the cup down, it was draining out through a hole in her abdomen. And so between that and other health issues, I mean, she just, she, you know, she was one of those, you know, she'd had hernias and, you know, the issues they have with the mesh, you know, it, it migrates and whatnot. All the things that she was told was a side effect. Of course, now there are these class action lawsuits about it. But it just, it kept, you know, the mesh would eventually migrate, which is just, I mean, something it does. It's not a fault. It's just what happens. Um, but it was causing issues and whatnot. And she ended up, I mean, she just, it got, so much, got to the point, you know, where her body could handle it. She had infections and whatnot. But so the entire time I was gone... Sorry, maintenance guy is climbing a ladder outside my house. Um, anyway, she she was in the hospital, and she was so proud of what I was doing. I mean, she had, you know, we had pictures that, um, 
of her or of me with a cross. I'm gonna you're walking through my house with me. Um turn on the light here. I have a picture of me with the cross. See, that was me with the cross. And, but she had pictures and she loved it. She was so proud. She told everybody about it. And, um, you know, I came back several times to, you know, check on her, you know, when she's in the hospital and whatnot. But she ended up passing away while I was on the, the trip. And she, I didn't, you know, when I got the, the message that she was you know, had gone into respiratory rest and they were doing the EEG to check for brain activity. That's when you knew, you know, that that's the end. If they're checking for brain activity when she's on a ventilator, you know, we're done. So I got in a plane um, and it was, you know, I had someone from Mississippi, you know, I was in Mississippi at the time and had a family that stored my stuff for me and someone else, some stranger drove me an hour to an airport and my a friend David had bought my plane ticket. I got home, you know, flew back. And I didn't quite make it back in time. I mean, the, we figured out that the time that my plane touched down in Oklahoma was when her heart finally stopped. So she waited till I was in Oklahoma, but I didn't actually get to say goodbye to her, which hurt for a long time. But then it got to the point that I realized, I was like, you know, my sister and my stepdad were with her when, you know, they turned the ventilator off. Even... Okay, maintenance guy, thanks. Even though she was gone. I don't know that I could have handled being in the room when they turned the ventilator off, you know, and she took her last breath. So, jeez, maintenance guy. Um, sorry about that. Anyway, um, you know, she, she waited till I was in Oklahoma and, you know, I'm, it sucks, you know, and I had a really, really hard time dealing with the loss of my mom. I mean, I completely went off the deep end. It was one of those, if I couldn't have her back, I wanted to go to her. Um, I, you know, I ended up in a hospital for a while dealing with depression. Um, and I just, over the time, I just kind of got, I just got to where I just didn't want to deal with religion, with anything. So, um, I'm not anti-religion. I'm not anti-God. I just don't, I just can't deal with it right now. So... But that's the story with me walking to Florida. Um, the, um, you know, we let, when I left Florida, I left the cross behind, so I don't know what was done with it. It was kind of neat because I, when people would stop to meet me or to talk to me, you know, I always have them sign the cross. So, you know, I had a bunch of signatures on it. And I know I've got pictures elsewhere. I'd have to go look for them. But, so, anyway, that's my, this was supposed to be a quick update. We're up to, like, nine minutes now. Um... Yeah, I finished my hat. Um, I'm still working on David's scarf. I'm still working on the other projects. Um, I'm finding that I'm liking Amigurumi a lot more than other stuff. So that's um, kind of where I think my focus is going to end up being is, you know, making little stuffed animals and, and toys and things like that. And so, but anyway, I just wanted to give a quick check in and I will check back in with you guys on Sunday. Have a great day.